All right, there we go. Two bosses down. We're about to reset and uh, see what kind of loot we got. We'll just see if the dungeon level actually goes up. Spooner is level 27 now. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa. Hey guys, and welcome back to Treasure Quest with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you really like the episode, tell a friend. So, I am level 57 right now. Uh, I've been doing quite a bit of leveling behind the scenes. I'm really, really liking the endless um, dungeons as you get a ton of loot for them. And the experience you get, like, you, you, know, you can just keep going and getting levels after level after level. As long as you're good enough, right? Um, they do get very hard. Uh, not too quickly um the higher the dungeon is the higher it automatically starts off with like uh in the last episode we started with ancient jungle and the the dungeon started off at level 25 dungeon and slowly worked our way up to our level right um i think it's crystal caverns it automatically starts off at dungeon level 45 and works its way up so uh they get difficult fairly quickly if you're playing a higher level dungeon but today we are with spooner Hi everyone and she is level one and we are going to pretty much power level her uh, as quickly as possible so we do need to get to level 20 before we can do endless uh, dungeons with her um, is she looking away from us she does have the lava blade we've collected all three blades uh, for her just because they're the first three quests that are the easiest so if you guys don't know where they all are uh, the lava blade is behind this greenhouse. There's a hole just behind it. Uh, there's a plant growing out of the hole. You can just jump down there, grab the lava blade. The grass blade is behind this waterfall. And the last one, or the newest one, I should say, sun orb, cool, uh, is right over here. Uh, it's up on the cloud that's directly above us here, but it's behind this, uh, this house, orange house. You just go up on the stairs here, and boom right there so pretty easy to find uh they don't give any experience but uh having three good blades right off the bat isn't too bad um from level one you can automatically use lava blade uh the grass blade and the thunder blade have level restrictions to them so but you know it gives you something to work towards right but like i was saying we are going to start a dungeon so we have to make a nice easy one. We'll go friends only so a Spooner can join us and we'll go easy. And I guess we can do a time lapse to begin with and see how quickly we can actually get her to level 20.
All right, so we've done about, um, I'm say about four or five dungeons, and uh, Spooner is already at level 15. We're doing demon runs now, or this is our first demon run, uh, and that's her first encounter with Frost. <laughs> Frost is such a pain in the butt, um, especially at higher levels, because he can ruin your day very quickly if a lot of guys are still around. And as you guys can see, I did, even though this is a low level, uh, dungeon. I'm still getting experience, and I did level. We got, I got to level 58, or we are at level 58. Destroying these guys is so easy, which is nice. Uh, it's a nice little change from what I had to deal with before. Uh, I am me and Spooner did both uh, purchase inventory spaces, just because I'm pretty sure when we start doing endless with her. Uh, the dungeon down here, the dungeon level, starts at her level, right? So, even if we go around and we destroy the boss, every round is only going to be five levels on the dungeon. So it's actually going to take quite a long time for it to get up to 50, right? Or, yeah, uh, 55 is probably when it's going to start to slow down. So, yeah, it's going to take a while. In that while, um, we're going to destroy quite a few bosses. So I don't want to lose loot. Uh, in the end, because, you know, we didn't have enough spaces. So, hopefully, we get a bunch of, you know, cool stuff. Obviously, the stuff we're getting is really low level, but if we get a mythical or a legendary, I'm still going to upgrade it like crazy. <laughs> Especially if it's a good one. Uh... And like I've been saying, I do like Wave Blast, um, but I do have, I really like... Uh, fireball, but I haven't seen like a good staff with fireball, right? Um, shockwave is not bad. It's but if you're gonna use shockwave, you cannot heal yourself. You have to have a healer with you. I would say just because you're you're, you're gonna take a lot more damage, right? Because you're gonna be so close to the guys. And there's the boss already. So. This run by itself is only taking 2 minutes and 30 some seconds. And how many hits are we going to have to hit him? We're almost doing 2,000 damage per uh, wave. 1833. So a couple more upgrades on both of our items. We're going to be doing 2,000 a shot, which is great. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, we were playing... I think we were doing a hard run. And you know how... When the boss's room opens up, it goes into that cinematic where it shows him. Um, what was it? Uh, the cinematic plate. And then it spawned me underneath the world and killed me immediately. So, I, I'm, that's going to be something we're going to have to look... Or uh, have to worry about in... Well, Demon, Impossible, Endless. Just for losing the game that way. Nice, so while we were doing another run for Spooner, I got another... For some reason, I'm getting quite a bit of loot. <laughs> getting two, or I got three items this time. Uh, two daggers, but uh, we got the, the bolt, uh, which is actually really cool. Um, it is another effect that you can apply to uh, a weapon towards the end. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome that you can just randomly get these. Uh, Spooner is level 8 now I believe we're just running faster yeah level 18 so almost to the endless all right here we go we are in endless now with Spooner um, and yeah as you guys can see in the bottom right corner it says that the dungeon level started at level 20 which is her level should go up by five levels every time we uh, defeat one of the bosses or defeat the boss so let's see how many times we can do this and how much loot we can get or Spooner and ourselves like uh, by doing this uh, we should be able to you know still have that chance to get the mythical or legendary items that do come from jungle caverns uh, I think Spooner okay <laughs> but yeah uh, we'll time-lapse this
All right, there we go. Two bosses down. We're about to reset and uh, see what kind of loot we got. We'll just see if the dungeon level actually goes up. Spooner is level 27 now. No, it hasn't. So there might be a preset, like when you first create the game. Obviously, it started off at, uh, I think it was, yeah, level 20, huh? That's kind of odd because it only went up to 25. Odd, but uh, yeah, we'll give it another shot another day. Uh, but let's reset our character. Head back to town, and hopefully we got some uh, good loot here. And... Dang. Venom Sting, yada yada yada. We're looking for orange or red writing. We didn't get that lucky, but uh, obviously we're going to get a lot of... Or we're not even going to get that much money either, I guess. Let's... Venom Sting is Wave Blast. Yeah, there's nothing... Nothing too fantastic there, but still, it uh, we could have kept going longer and gotten a lot more loot, right? So, it is what it is. Um, it will definitely pay off. Uh, you can't sell it. Oh, yeah, that's the basic sword. Um, it would definitely pay off in the end. Did that, you know, killed the boss 50 times. So, if I was level 200 and Spooner was only level, you know, 25 like she is now, or 27, and it maxed out at even, let's say, 30, um... Like, you could run that a whole dungeon in, what, 10 seconds, maybe? And just keep going and going and going. Let's see. Because, like I was saying, collection for Ancient K or the Ancient Jungle, there is four mythicals, or four legendaries and two mythical swords. Uh, which is kind of odd, but uh, you never know. Like, one of these swords might be a caster and one might be uh, strength. And then you could do the same with Coral Kingdoms, right? Because these two are... Exact same it looks like. Not quite. This one's art is a little bit different. Uh, Crystal Caverns, once again. Uh, Sacred Sands is the only one so far where the mythicals are different. Candyland? Yeah, Candyland has a little bit of difference too. Hmm. Alright, so Spooner, she got some good stuff for her level. Uh, unfortunately, no legendaries or mythicals. Um, but like I said... It only takes a matter of time, and all we had to do was keep going, and eventually we would have gotten one, right? <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa.